What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Papa Jelly Bean. I am back. Now, have you had your game updated? Are you remodding your Skyrim? And you like using those alternate start mods? You know, like the Realm of uh, Loken, uh, pers alternate perspective, alternate start, any of them. But you're having trouble uh, getting them to work. Well, I'm going to show you how to get them to work without messing with any any files. I know there is on the mod page it says go into this any file, change this and this. But I'm going to show you how to do it without messing with any any files. Because I don't know about you, but I hate messing with any files. So what we're going to need first is we're going to need SSE Engine Fix Part 1. Now, because I have uh, version 6.17, whatever it is, I use the second one. Make sure you use the version that you have for your game. Now, as far as part two goes, I'm going to show you quickly how to install part two, just in case anybody is uh, wondering. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your Skyrim folder. You're going to look for the uh, S Skyrim SE EXE. That way you know you're in the right spot. Then what you're going to do is you're going to download manually part two. Go to your downloads, open it up, and I'm going to move this over here so we can see what's going on. And we're going to open this up again. So what you're going to be looking for is these three files here. Simply highlight all three, and then just drag and drop them into that folder. I already have them installed, so I'll just hit replace. And that's how you do part two. Quite simple. Now, once you've downloaded part one, you're going to want to look up SSE Engine Fixes Modified.tml. What this mod will do, and as you can see, it's only for these two versions, but what this mod will do is it will adjust your any file to what it needs so you don't have to. This will do it for you. Simply download it using your mod manager of choice. And then once they're both installed, I'm on Mod Organizer 2. But if you're on Vortex, make sure that it loads after Part 1. Because what it will do is it will overwrite certain any files in Part 1 that will allow any of your alternate start mods to work. So as you can see, I have them installed, so I'm just going to enable them. And as you can see, it overwrites loose files. So now what we're going to do to make sure this works, we're going to go in-game to make sure that our alternate start is working as planned. So like I said, the Vortex, put them one, above the, one below the other, but make sure the TOML file overwrites the original Skyrim SSE Part 1. That's very important because if it does not do that, your alternate starts won't work. Because I know when I first, I was, oh, it took me three days, three, four days of trying to get to work. And then finally I went and talked to some people I know and they told me about this mod. And I said, well, this is easy. So now we're just going to wait for it to load up here. Let's hit new. And keep our fingers crossed that it works. <laughs> but it should work. I've done it a hundred times and it works every single time. It's just, I know a lot of people, and there we go, ladies and gentlemen, alternate start is working. I know that messing with any files does intimidate a lot of players, but here's a way to do it without messing with the enemies. So if you found this uh, video informative, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.